Your favorite friends are all on DVD. Here we go! Rock and roll! Get ready for tons of fun. How exciting. Gordon was covered in gooey red jelly. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. Dance with your little one. Is everyone having fun? Yes, yeah. it's so cool. I think this is my favorite day ever. When you're dancing, you can pretend to be doing so many different things. I'm proud to be your friend. You mean best friend. Build with your little one. Okay, team, today we're building something very exciting. We've got everything we need. We just need you to help us put it all together. Let's get busy. We've got a moon to build. Excellent. It looks as good as new. <laughs> Laugh with your little one. We're the Care Bears, and we care about you. What a nice idea. I'm very glad you came to visit. There's a lot I want to tell you about. That was very, very fun. Have I got a surprise for you. Awesome. Wherever we're going, it's going to be fun because it's not going to be here. Let's go. Hooray! Collect them all. That's the very best idea I ever heard. On DVD today. Whoa. <laughs> I love happy endings. City Art Show. Sarah, that's just beautiful. It belongs in a museum. Nice work. Mm -hmm. She showed us the exact same picture last family night. Amy, wait your turn. This week, I thought it would be nice to show a movie I made all about us. There's Mom sticking to her dive again. Dad's getting his hair just right. <laughs> Here's how come Sarah hogs the bathroom so much. <laughs> Jack, you're such a pain. Guess whose new sweater Amy's trying? Amy, where's your sense of humor? Yeah, I could win a fortune on that Fractured Family video show. How many times do I have to tell you not to try on my clothes? That's not very nice. Next time, ask to use the camera. Sorry. Now can I have my turn? So, Dennis, how was your family picnic? Were you bothered by any ants? No, worse, termites. You've heard of the Terminator. Well, we had to call it the X-Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. You said you did a new one. So I did. Why don't you look behind the couch? Really? You really got me a new dummy? Well, almost new. I was, uh, I was passing the second-hand store near my office. There he was, just sitting in the window. Slappy? Daddy, thank you. Caro, Mary, 
Madonna, Loma, Molyneux, Caramel? Sounds like a foreign language or something. It probably means it takes a dummy to want a dummy. <laughs> you and I are going to make a great team. I just know it. to have a new home. You got that right, Joe. Amy! Amy! If I catch you in my room again, you're toast. Got it? I was just trying it on. I didn't hurt your dumb sweater. Well, just stay out. Now go to bed. Don't have to. Yeah, we don't have to. <gasps> Come on. Mom says so. That's weird. Here's your new friend, Slappy. Good night, Slappy. Good night, Dennis. try and get away with that. Jed, stay out of it. We'll talk about this later. Now go get dressed. I'm always waiting for everything around here. Amy, you'll miss your bus. Coming. Sorry you had to end up with such a bizarre family, Slappy. Red paint? What's going on? How did this get here? the family night stage over to Amy Kramer and her little pal, Slappy. Take it away, Amy. <laughs> hey there, family. Nice to see you. So, Slappy, how do you like being part of the Kramer family so far? It's fantastic, but then my last family was a pine tree. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think of Dad's song? That was your dad? Well, what a relief. I thought the cat got stuck in the dishwasher. <laughs> Amy, that's not very nice. Sloppy. And how about that mother of yours? She went to a store and asked the clerk if he had anything her size, and he told her to try the freight elevator. <laughs> Amy? But it's not me, it's him. All right, the dummy made me do it. I wouldn't laugh. You're such a booger brain. You tried to grow an eggplant by burying a chicken. Hey, cut it out. Yeah, cut it out. You call yourself an artist? Why don't you give up brushes and try using a roller? <laughs> Is this supposed to be funny? No, I can't stop him. Help me hey, get him off. Hey, easy on the switch. Well, I can. Hey, 
Hey, what's gotten into you? Kids, come on. Get it. I'm not saying those things. Okay. Sappy is. Okay, young lady. That's enough. Up to bed and take the dummy with you. Crazy enough to let you do the talking for me. Wow, this poster's turning out great. So, you think Shane's gonna ask you to the dance? I wish, but I could always go with Tyler. Alicia, what have you got there? Dolls, I found them. Sorry, she's such a snoop. That's okay, it's not like I play with them anymore. How come I always get stuck babysitting? Tina never has to. It's because you're in the middle. The oldest one gets to do whatever they want, the youngest gets away with everything. It's like a rule or something. Sometimes I wish I didn't have any brothers or sisters. Yeah, tell me about it. Amy, you're in big trouble. Who said you could go into my room and steal my markers? I didn't steal them, you're just borrowing them. Well, you're using them up. You never even asked. I told you to stay out of my room. Just stay out of my life. Hi, Slappy. My name's Alicia. Alicia, don't touch that. She won't hurt it. He said he couldn't breathe in there. Hey, Margo, you can forget about Shane. He thinks you got a face like a can of worms. Amy! Stop it. I didn't say it. He did. He's funny. Help! Hey! He won't let me go. Amy, cut it out. Stop it. Let her go. gone far enough. But... You are staying in your room until your father gets home. I don't want to hear another word about that dummy. <laughs> this can't be happening. Amy, this isn't funny. You can't keep blaming a doll for things you don't want to take responsibility for. Slappy's not a doll. He's a dummy. I can't help it if he's haunted or something. Why won't anybody believe me? Amy, this is just getting too weird. Well, weird with a capital W. Come on now, you two. We're here to help Amy as a family, not to criticize. Look, I know it's hard to believe, but there's something going on. Something I can't explain. <laughs> yeah, right. Pumpkin. When I was your age, I had two older brothers and a baby sister to deal with. I, I know what it feels like to be caught in the middle. Nobody's listening to me. It's all Slappy's fault. Amy, if you really and truly believe that Slappy is responsible for all this, then maybe we need to get some help. You mean like a doctor or something? Like a total head shrinker. Sarah. I'm not making this up. Can I watch TV now? What?
baby. Oh, Amy, how could you? He was gonna hit Dad. I had to stop him. Who was? What are you talking about? Amy. I didn't do it. He did. Okay. This stops here and now. But, but... No buts, young lady. I want you back upstairs and in bed now. We'll discuss this in the morning. Way to go, Amy. Oh, be quiet. I never did anything. Jed, Sarah, get ready for school. I am ready. They want to talk to Amy alone. Amy, your mother and I have talked about this, and we want you to tell us what you think we should do. You mean like a punishment? I think we both know that's not the answer. This is about a lot more than wrecking your father's guitar. Amy. We want to help, but we can't begin to understand what's happening here if you keep blaming Slappy for everything. I'm telling the truth. I'm late for an open house. When you're ready to tell us what's really bothering you, then we'll talk. Is that clear? Dance. Yeah. Let's put up a few more signs here and then let's go down to the next block. It's going to be the best day. Hi, Margo. Never going to hurt me again. Not ever. Hey, kid. Wait, wait. Why'd you do it? Really? Do what? Wreck Dad's guitar. You knew you couldn't get away with it. There's no point in me telling you the truth, because you think I'm crazy anyways. Well, tell Jed to wipe his stupid feet! Remember? Wasn't very nice of you to dump me in the sewer like that. What do you, what do you want? Don't you get it yet? You can't get rid of me. What are you talking about? Don't you remember, Amy? You spoke the words. Peru, Marie, or Donna Loma. Volanu Carano? You and I are one now. Inseparable. You are my slave. No, I'm not gonna be your slave. You can't make me. <laughs> I can make you do anything I want. You have no choice. Your whole family thinks you're crazy. I've seen to that. <laughs> They'll lock you up. Maybe they'll let you see them on visiting days. No! <laughs> Whoa! Amy, I can hurt you and your family in a hundred ways. No, I won't let you! Amy... Sarah! Amy, Sarah, he's... he's... he's like... Hey, Sarah. Wanna play? What's going on? Run, but you cannot hide. <laughs> what are we going to do? I can't believe it. <laughs> See? I told you. No one will believe me. No, I'm sorry. I believe you now. <laughs> I think he's gone. Jed? Jed, are you... 
you okay? Jimmy, another big score. Thank you. 
an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> You're looking good today, Sloppy. Thanks, Jimmy. I'd like to say the same about you. I'd like to, except lying makes my nose grow. <laughs> Your nose grows? Yeah, runs in the family. Almost killed my Uncle Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about this wonderful audience? What do you think of them? Phew, this is an audience? Yeesh. For a minute there, I thought we were working at the zoo. <laughs> Well, that's not very nice, Slappy. I think they're a fine-looking bunch of boys and girls. <laughs> I said, I think they're a fine-looking group of boys and girls. Hmm. Don't you think they're a fine-looking bunch of boys and girls? Huh? Mm -mm -mm. Are you kidding me? Last time I saw faces like these, they were hanging upside down in a fish market. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Slappy. <laughs> so, what'd you think, Katie? Did you like the show? It was okay. Okay? I blew off a whole Saturday afternoon <laughs> for an okay. Hey, Katie, where's Mary Ellen? What? <laughs> What's wrong? Like She's gone! Mary Ellen's gone! She was right here beside me, and now she's gone! All right, don't panic. Maybe you just left her back at your seat. No, you don't understand. Mary Ellen said if I ever let anything happen to her, she'd do something bad to me. Katie, Katie, relax, okay? I mean, it's just a dumb doll. She's got to be around here somewhere. I've got to find her! Katie! Uh, I'll see you outside. Nice try. You're going to help me find her. You go that way, and I'll go back there. <laughs> this day just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? treated like a slave all the time. But you are my slave, Jimmy. You are. And you aren't ever gonna be anything but. <laughs> so let me give you some free advice, partner. When old Slappy tells you to do something, you better do it. <laughs> I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Uh, uh, I wasn't looking. I was just, uh, um. <laughs> How'd you like it? Excuse me? The new act. You heard it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I figured the show needed some spark, so I, uh, I, I've been working on this routine where Slappy and I fight and argue, and I put a radio-controlled motor inside him. I think it's going to be a big hit. I'm Jimmy O. James, and you are? Jillian. Jillian Zinman. It was an act? Is that uh, Jillian with a J or a G? Oh, I didn't come down for a picture. I'm actually looking for my little sister. You see, she lost her doll, and then she ran off to find it. Well, nobody's come by down here. What kind of doll was it? A big pain one. Say, wasn't he sitting different before? Listen, why don't you write your address in here, and if the cleaners find it, we can send it along later. How does that sound? Uh, I don't want to bother you or anything. It's no bother. No bother at all. She was wandering around out here. I wasn't wandering. Mary Ellen wanted to meet Slappy and she got lost. Dolls don't get lost, Katie. Mary Ellen did. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. Yeah. And this time, hold on to that stupid doll.
Dinner's ready. Just one more birdhouse, and I beat the world record. For Jillian Zinman. Hey, what do you know? Let's open it. Hey, Jillian, what's the matter? Don't you want to see what's inside? Kevin, quiet. Now, who would send you a doll? Dear Jillian, after meeting you today, I decided that you were the right person to take care of my old friend Slut. I'm starting a new act without him, so he needs a good home. Please take care of him and give him lots of love. Your friend, the amazing Jimmy O'James. <gasps> Katie, what are you doing down here? Mary Ellen is mad at you. Really? I'm shaking. She wants Abby to stay upstairs in our bedroom with us. Well, it was my bedroom before it was our bedroom. And I think Slappy's creepy, so Slappy lives here. Katie, get this thing off me! K Katie, help me! Mary get this thing Mary. off me! You and Mary Ellen were a big help. I guess Slappy isn't happy. It must have been those radio controls the amazing Jimmy put inside him. That's what made him bite me. Mary Ellen says Slappy wants to stay upstairs, too. Well, you know what, Katie? Mary Ellen talks too much. Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen said it wasn't her fault either. She said Slappy didn't want to stay in the basement. Slappy wanted oh, to. Mary Ellen says this. Slappy wants that. I feel like I'm living in a psycho toy store. What are you going to do now? I'm going to take this pile of wood back to the amazing Jimmy. You're making Mary Ellen angry. She likes Slappy. Girl, get out here now. Now what'd you do? Which one of you was in my jewelry box? Wasn't me. Me either. Oh, really? So what happened then? Did my wedding ring just get out of the box and walk away? Your wedding ring? Well, I'm going to be late for my aerobics class as it is. When you two finish cleaning that mirror, I want you to find that ring and put it in the box. Is that understood? And I haven't seen Kevin all day either. But when he shows up, make sure you take him out for a run. Bye. I'll be gone all day. See you tonight. I guess we're not getting rid of Slappy after all. Guess again. Dummy. Hello? Mr. 
Mr. O'James? Amazing? You all right? Yeah, I think so. What's all this? Oh, these. These are Slappy's rivals. He destroyed them. He destroyed them all. Wait a second. Are you telling me a dummy did all this? Slappy is not a dummy. He's... He's pure evil. Couldn't you just destroy him? You can't destroy the evil spirit within that dummy. So instead you send him to me? Don't you understand? Slappy forced me to write you that letter. Take that evil thing away! Get it out of here now! Look, I just spent half of my babysitting savings to get here in a cab, and I'm not leaving until you take this stuff. <laughs> what? Oh. Very funny, young lady. It's no joke. If Kevin's here, then that means Slappy is...
beautiful bride. See? I even brought the ring. That's my mom's ring. Yeah. I stole it for the special occasion. My marriage to the most perfect girl in the world. Oh, Slatter, you say the nicest things. And now I'm ready to be your bride. What? Uh, you? Uh, I don't want you, you cheap, uh, uh, plastic. I want her. You'll be mine, Kenny. You'll be my slave forever. <laughs> After all I've done for you, this is the thanks I get. You rot, old piece of wood. Come on, there's plenty of me to go around. Get off of me, you plastic parasite! said Sloppy Spirit couldn't be destroyed. So, where do you think it is now? <sighs> it's just you. Well, thanks for the warm welcome. Is there something wrong, girls? No. <gasps> we forgot about Harrison. What's Harrison doing in our bathroom? It's kind of a long story. Trust me, young lady, you're going to have time. Harrison? Are you okay? Harrison? <laughs> Sorry, folks. Harrison doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 